It's laundry, and Shona Jensen is here to give us some of the things and things go when it comes to your laundry. Do you like doing your laundry? Because I know you're an organized person. Yeah, I'm organized. Don't mind doing laundry at all. Okay. I mean, it's obviously it's still a chore you have to get done, but I don't mind. My husband points to him. He's really good at doing the laundry. If he knows it's piling up, he'll pitch in. Good. But I've been doing my own laundry since I was like about 10. Good because, for you. Because, yeah, I'm in a blended family. Yeah. So my parents got married and brought a couple more kids in the house. There were seven of us in the house. Mm -hmm. So my mom, very, very smart, raised us all to be really independent. Lined us all up in front of the washer and dryer and said, okay, yeah. I'm not doing laundry every <laughs> single day of the week. You're all going to learn how to do it yes. yourself. And if you ruin your own clothes, you don't get new ones, so pay attention. Oh, I and love it. And from like that moment on, we all just, we were all responsible for our own laundry. That is smart. I know, it was so smart, smart for her to take yes. some of the pressure off with yes. that big of a household, but also made us really responsible. And we went away uh -huh. to school and we weren't lost. And you there's knew lots what of you things. were doing. Yeah, lots of things she did like that. So When I get my kids to help, I find laundry takes three hours rather than one. Right, right. Like, no, I want to fold it. It's like, oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> I have to fold the yeah. whole thing again. But at least they're getting into the habit of knowing, you know, the different stages. Yeah, yeah. It is important. And now, um, so many clothes are washable like yes. there was a day where so many clothes weren't washable we're into wash and wear clothing now they're coming up with new fabrics that are easily to be washed at home yeah. so laundry is like more and more you know it what is. i mean so it is. so let's talk about frequency of how how often we're going to do our laundry okay so once a week items are your sheets those yeah. are once a week and that really should not change the only exception would be if someone's sick Mm. Then they have to be washed twice, like more. It depends. Yeah. I don't mean literally soiling kind of sick the sheets, just yeah. even a cold or something. Yeah, you're sneezing on it, in it, you're coughing yeah. in it, your hair's on it, like oh, you know, all your sorts of nasty. Set, your skin's yeah. sloughing off yeah. on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You got to wash the sheets frequently. <laughs> Beds are gross. Isn't that like yeah. a really nice yeah, totally, image right? right yeah. Now? And same with bath, bath towels. Yeah. For most people, it's once a week. If someone's sick, extenuating circumstances, that's take that up a notch too, into a couple times a week. Right. But generally, you know, if that's that's what you're looking at. You can kind of get a sense of when it's time. It totally. Yeah. And same. Then once a month would be like blankets. So your duvet yeah. covers. Your depending on how you make your bed. If you have a flat sheet, you can leave your duvet cover. Yeah. If your duvet is without a flat sheet. Uh, then you want to wash that one more frequently because that's like your skin. It's kind of, to me, I think it's fairly logical, but sometimes I have this conversation like, really? Sheets once a week? I'm like, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And then you'll become addicted <laughs> to it because you'll love the feeling of a, of a clean bed. That's right. And then there's other things like kitchen towels. I mean, yeah. that is a, how much you use them. I'm, I use right. a lot of kitchen towels all my years in restaurants and in hospitality. I go through a lot of towels. So I wash mine every couple of days because I'm, you know, using them. Constantly. If you're a single person and you know, once a week, you know, and if you're using a lot of raw meats, then you bump that up and up. So you have to use your mm -hmm. common sense. Mm -hmm. Just don't forget about them. And when in doubt, wash it. Yeah, if you think it's getting, if you don't know when the last time you washed it, yeah. wash it. <laughs> I can't remember yes. when I last washed this. Yes, get yes, it in the washing get machine. Get it in right there. Now. And same with, you know, unmentionables and stuff like that. Yeah. Like some some people say, well you should be washing your bras, you know, every everywhere. No way, I'm not doing that. No, that would break down the bra way too quick. And if I'm not, if I'm just wearing it normally, no yes. problem. A sports bra? Whole nother story. That's a little yeah, different. Yeah, yeah. So just use your common sense with what you're doing. Yeah, and you know your body too. Like my yeah. workout wear, there is no way that would get on my body after one wear. Like totally. after one wear, it's done. And listen, wearing your bra, you're in menopause and you've got 45 hot flashes in one day. Go wash, wash that it. bad boy. Go wash it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> see so what you need to do. You, you've got to like figure it out. So then there's gadgets that'll also help you that I just kind of want to show you some of the things that are out in the market. This looks like a regular everyday laundry basket. Yeah. We're all space challenged now. I like it because it's got the silicone sides, so you can actually make it this a smaller so basket cool. to the point where it could maybe slide underneath the bed, underneath yeah. the dresser. If you don't have a closet, that put that in space in it. I love um, this. So this is really great one. What is this? This for? is the bar that goes in the back of the car. Remember, oh, the day in your back seat, it uh, you used to see ah. sales guys and they had all, the, all their suits hung up in the back. Yeah. The reason why I like this is not everyone has washer and dryer in their home. You might be driving to a laundry mat. Yeah. Just bring a whole bunch of hangers. Mm -hmm. When your shirts are clean, put them on the hangers and hang them up. Don't even put them in the basket folded. And then you don't have to launder those shirts as you're, I mean, iron those shirts yeah, when you get smart. home. Very so smart. So that's something if that suits in your life. Okay. Th I thought this was to do that for the person that's not doing any laundry. <laughs> get on it. Double duty. Get on yes. it. Right? Yeah. Um, and then this is a little folding assistant. Now, okay. a lot of people, myself included, I'm totally You're capable of folding my own. Yeah, me too. But if you need a gadget to get the job done, I say embrace it and do it. I want to see how this works. And this is a good works. gadget. So you just lay whatever it is, the shirt, the sweater, over top of it. Uh-huh. 
you flop one side, uh -huh. you flop the other side. Yeah. That one hung over. I need that for my kids. In the end, actually, it's a good way, and then it just comes out fully folded. Oh, that's really and, nice. And everything then is the same size in your closet. So that's if you're someone perfect. who likes to have that, so so that's a cute little gadget for people who just need that little boost. Or to your point, the kids that that's can right. get kids can, interested in laundry. That's right. They'd yeah. be into that. Drying sweaters. For? You know, drying racks that have all the bars and stuff. They're great. I have that at home. Mm -hmm. But if you have a very fine sweater, like a wool or a cashmere or something, and you hang it with the bars, it'll get the bar marks on it, and it can also warp that very yep. fine knit. It's because you don't want to take those knits to dry cleaners. Right. Because those special fibers will actually be uh, damaged by the chemicals. Yeah, they don't come out right. No, they don't. All natural fibers are really hard to do at a dry cleaners, actually. Mm -hmm. So this is just a really see-through nylon net that you would lay that type of sweater out on, and it will dry in that, and it will dry perfectly. You shape it to perfection, again, something like a cashmere or something like that. Shape it exactly how you need it to end up when it's dry. Nice. So don't leave an arm like that or no. something like that. Perfectly, and it will dry perfectly. And if you have multiple, you can stack these, so if you have limited Smart. space. So that's another good one to cut back on dry cleaning costs. Your clothing lasts a lot longer when you wash it, you know, as per the instructions. Oh, for Flat, sure. Dry, yeah, do for it right. sure. And then a steamer. Steamers are always great to have. I've Not, never seen one like that. Well, Just this one's a, a handheld one. Yeah, there's lots of really good, powerful handheld ones out there. Yeah. And they're good because not everything has to be washed. It just has to be freshened up. That's right. So you can do that. And then look into the world of laundry bins. Like if your laundry... Um, you know, go to the laundry market Ooh, or I laundry like market, that one. laundry mat, the laundry, not laundry market. market. <laughs> if you go to the laundry market. mat, this one sits on your shoulder. It's got a little handle. All your laundry is full of there, and Where's it's an easy from? walk and back. Uh, Bed Bath and Beyond. Bed Bath yeah. and Beyond. Very yeah. good. Thanks, Shona. Really good yeah. tips.